Hello everyone and welcome back to Cattails and we are here with Larkin who is in her den in the middle of winter. It's uh, winter 6 and uh, we're currently trying to uh, work on this, some of the different quests to try and uh, bring back the forest guardian and yesterday Arthur was so helpful. He really gave us a huge helping paw in uh, finding a blue jay for us which was something we needed for one of the quests. So he's really been very supportive of Larkin in this and uh, honestly, as many of you guys have been saying, they really have a very strong and very beautiful friendship. So let's go ahead and we'll visit and have our, our breakfast with him as we usually do. My heart's gleam comes to me, oh joyous day. Larkin, thy present is most appreciated. Arthur delights in thy generosity. Aw, he's honestly so sweet, you guys. <laughs> Blast this interminable fog. Tis difficult to survey the realm when all the land is covered. Eh, that it is, that it is. Uh, it does make things difficult. Um, yeah, it definitely is not optimal conditions today, but we'll have to weather through them. Let's go ahead and we will give a squirrel to Jay, because um, I think he enjoys that. Let's chat with him as well. I feel like Larkin's the sort to make sure she says hi to everyone when she gets the chance. Did you need something from me, Larkin? I don't like this weather, not one bit. Hard to see if any cats are approaching or leaving camp when it's all foggy out. Makes my job that much harder. Yeah, fog can be kind of a... It's a double-edged sword, honestly. It really is. Um, I think we determined that Robin does like the winter berries. Hello, Larkin. It's always good to see a friend. That's very kind of you. I think she does like them, but she's not, like, obsessed with them or anything. And then, of course, Delta, the shopkeeper. Let's see. Larkin, what are you up to today? Want to have some fun if you're free? Are you sure you want to give this to me? I love it. Thank you, sweetie. Aww. I, I feel- I really do feel like Delta has been very much an older sister to Larkin. Uh, it's- it's been really sweet. So let's go ahead and chat as well. I once pulled a prank on someone, but the prank was actually meant for someone else turned into a prank on me. Oh no. I heard this one cat really hated frogs, so I put frog legs in their den. Lots of them. Well, turns out it was my den. I pranked myself. Oh no, Delta! Oh, that I'd like love to hear the story of how she came to make that mistake. Oh my goodness. Uh, what a story. It sounds like Delta is, has quite the mischievous side. You look like you're staying busy today, Larkin. Hey, that looks like something I could find a use for. I really appreciate it. I've heard rumors that there's a swamp down south where the Mystic Colony lives. I even heard those strange cats live in tree trunks. How odd is that? It is quite odd. It really is. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, very different from up here, for sure. And... Luna, do you like squirrels? I think you... I can't remember if you like squirrels or not. I'm still getting used to everybody's likes and dislikes. Um, she's neutral. Uh, let's chat. It's, um, hard to see anything in the spa. Gross. Uh, so, generally, Mountain Bonnie does not seem to be... Or Mountain Domain does not seem to be too, um... Too terribly impressed by the winter weather. Um, so we... Don't have enough hunting skill to see where prey is on the map just yet. We kind of just have to wander around and look for it. And since it's winter, it is going to be a little bit harder to find. Uh, so that's not such a nice thing. Oh, there is a squirrel, though. We'll try and, and snag that if we can. Do we get it? We got it. Good. Uh, which is very, very excellent because it would have run up a tree otherwise. The mountains can be very good to hunt in because there's lots of little places where you can corner prey even if it runs. So I feel like Larkin would attempt to take advantage of that. I think there's a black hair up here as well. Uh, I saw a black arrow and that either means a crow or a black hair. And on the mountain, it tends to be black hairs. And it looks like, yes indeed, it is a black hair. So I'm going to circle around it because that's open over there. And we're gonna try and get it. We got it. Okay. You can generally um, corner your prey pretty easily if you if you're able to. Yep, like this mouse. Not a chance. There we go. So that's what I like about the mountains. They they do have their advantages. Let's see. Oh, there's another mouse. We just gotta get enough to be able to eat for ourselves as well, and then hopefully to give some to the other cats as well. Oops, what was that? Oh my, oh no, oh no, I've run right into an ambush. That's not a good thing, okay. Um, let's see if we can, uh, if we can fight these guys off. Okay, we're gonna have to, oh no. I feel like Larkin will be both very intimidated and determined to stand her ground and fight these guys off, because you know what? They're attacking her, they're attacking her territory, they're threatening her, her, her home. 
And, uh, uh oh. Alright, can we get him? Alright, oh, we took seven damage there. Are you gonna be able to catch these guys? Or the, the, the rabbit? I don't think so. We gotta prioritize the cats that are attacking us right now. Alright, we got one down. Snickers is really fast, like dangerously so. Cuddles and Spider are a lot slower. Alright, we can do this. Ow, we keep taking damage though. No, that's really bad. Alright, we can get we can get these other guys. They're a lot slower. Alright. Ow! Okay, yeah, okay, that's gonna be good. These other two we can probably avoid pretty well. I think. I hope. There we go. And spider. You gonna go away? You gonna be done? Alright. Oh, oh no, there we go. We got back against the cliffs, that was not good. But uh, we managed to, to win, albeit uh, rather injured. Oh, George and Rocky, it would have been nice to have your help a little earlier, but uh, I, I, they must have just showed up. Oh goodness, um, let's see. Let, let's come and uh, attack this mouse. There we go, got it. And I think some of you guys have been saying, is this the lake? There's a rabbit up here. Some of you guys, I think, were saying that there's a power paw by the lake. This is the lake right here. And so I'm going to investigate, because if we could get healed up with a power paw, I would not complain. Um, I'm going to eat some of these berries. And we do have marigold, but I don't want to use that unless we actually need to use it. Howell and Jacob are here. And... There's a rabbit. We'll maybe try and get the rabbit. Can we catch it? Uh, we can catch it. There we go. I think it was up by the lake that you guys were saying there could be a power paw, but I don't actually, uh, I don't actually see it, so maybe I was mistaken. Um, it was worth a shot anyway, but we're gonna go home, I think, pretty soon here, because it's getting late and we're quite injured, and that's not a very good thing. We, we really need to, um, to get some healing. And, uh, Honestly, I feel like Larkin is very inspired by, by Arthur and his bravery and his wanting to to go out and fight and defend, but at the same time, she doesn't quite have the experience, and so while, while her heart may be willing for her to join him in that, she's maybe not quite ready. Uh, she maybe needs to work a little bit more and train a little bit more and learn a little bit more before she would be ready. And, um, it could be a a little bit of a, a dangerous thing for her if she continues with this. Alright, let's see if we can get it. Um, we- no! Oh no 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 no! Get stuck please! Yes, stuck! Good, there we go, got it. Alright, let's head back because it's getting late. And we have anything that we can eat? I'll eat the squirrel because not too many cats seem to like that. So let's come up here. And I think she would probably- oh, there's Leo. Um, I feel like she would maybe run and bring him a rabbit. And I feel like- here we go. Let's see, um... Oh, reports say that our enemies in the south are mastering more troops. We need to keep pressing them daily so they have no chance to take a break and gather their strength. That's definitely, um... Definitely, they are- they do seem to be getting stronger. Let's, uh, give the rabbit... Did we accidentally eat the other one? I think we accidentally ate the other rabbit. But we're gonna bring this to Arthur and, um... Yeah, we did. And we'll give him the black hair, and I think that'll be kind of her telling him what happened and warning him that the Mystic Colony has been, uh, has been nearby. And, um, it's kind of interesting because we have, uh, this huge feud going on, but at the same time, if you've been following our other series, you may have realized that, uh, maybe not everyone agrees with it. There are maybe some cats that would, uh, rather see the, the feud stop and see the colonies unite, and, uh, maybe they're not so happy with this whole fighting for dominance sort of thing. And maybe, just maybe, they're going behind their colonies' backs in, uh, something that might not be entirely approved of if it, they knew what was going on. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll give him a couple of these black hairs. And we're up to, uh, yellow with the heart now, which I think once it gets to red is maximum. So let's chat as well. Keep me in thy thoughts as you go about that, your day. Forget not your sweet Arthur. Oh, for I will not quickly forget thee, Larkin. Oh my goodness, I don't think that we're in any danger of forgetting you, Arthur. I really don't. Um, I think that's nigh on impossible. Oh, 
Uh, he's a very sweet guy. I, I think that's kind of his his way of saying to uh, maybe perhaps uh, remember that I'll be here if you if you need me to help you after what happened yesterday. I mean, she's still a little bit injured. That also might be a that also might be his way of warning her. Maybe maybe you shouldn't go hunting to, or maybe you shouldn't go fighting today. Maybe you should stick to hunting and and stick to the safe parts. Th oh darn it the safe parts of the territory and not not necessarily go to the parts where there might be a lot of fighting going on because she did take quite a bit of damage yesterday and she has gotten pretty injured so i want to keep looking for their squirrels over there i want to keep looking for more um more rabbits because we haven't technically given him three today and usually we do give him three and uh we want to have some food for the ah we want to have some food for the rest of the colony too if we can get it uh, but that's greatly going to depend on a lot of things. So, let's keep looking around. There's, um... There's a squirrel up here. Are we going to be able to catch it? Maybe. Nope, we're not. Nope, it kind of just ran up the tree. I feel like she might be a little bit not at the top of her game today because she is injured. She's maybe limping a little and not quite as... Not quite as stealthy as she normally is. Not quite as, um... Not quite as quick as she normally is. And, uh, struggling a little bit because of that. Okay, here's a rabbit. Oh, this would be good to catch. Do we get it? We got it. Good. We'll bring that back to Arthur for tonight. And, um, let's see if we can find any other prey around here. Anything else we can see? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, there is a, there is a squirrel if we can catch it. Squirrels are good, oh no. Squirrels are pretty good for us, for the most part, because, um, I guess Pebble does like them too, but not a lot of the cats in the colony like them, so they're good food for us, uh, when we need to eat something. Alright, got the squirrel. Oh, there's another squirrel. There we go. And anything else? Any other prey around here? This place seems to be pretty good so far, and it seems pretty safe so far as well, which is a very, very good news for Larkin. Oh, there's a rabbit this way. Those are always good to have. And, um, we shall see. Hmm. Should we, can we catch it? Maybe. Yes, there we go. All right. Oop, there is another rabbit. Alright, oops, nope. Mm, yes, we got it, good, okay. That worked out just as our just as our speed boost ended too. That worked out pretty well. And there's another squirrel. Can we catch it? Yes, we can. And another rabbit is up here. I like having rabbits. I definitely like having rabbits. And oh, we spooked it. Oh no. Oh no, and it's running. Is it gonna get caught? It is gonna get caught. Ah, you can't get away from me now, rabbit. All right, let's see if there's any other prey. And uh, perhaps there is, oh, there's a squirrel. Can we get it? Nope, we can't. And uh, it's 3.45, we'll probably head back kind of soon because we still have to greet everybody and uh, say hello and, and uh, see what they're all up to, but we needed to make sure we got ourselves some food because we didn't really have anything to eat if we needed it. Uh, so that was a pretty bad situation. No! Yes, we got it. Okay, good. <laughs> all right, I thought we weren't going to. So let's head back and we'll see if we can catch the squirrel first. Um, but we'll head back after this and bring some uh, gifts to people, but it, or to the, some of the other cats in the colony, but even if we can't uh, bring, even if we don't have anything to give to them, oh, we do have a crow for Jag, even if we don't have anything we can really give them, we'll still see, oh, he's, uh, he's up to five stars now, that's pretty amazing. Choose your friends carefully, they'll define who you become, Larkin, aw. Seems to me like you want to become gruff and cantankerous from all the time you spend with me. Aw, you know what, Jag? You may be gruff and cantankerous on the surface, but you've got a good heart. Uh, let's visit with Robin, I think... How do you feel about squirrels? Hello, Larkin. It's always good to see a friend. I'm very appreciative, really, but these aren't the sort of thing for me. Okay, she doesn't like him. What about mice? Um, oh, she doesn't really like prey that much. Do you like winter blueberries? Let's see. She does like winter blueberries, at least all right. Delta, how do you feel about squirrels? Uh, she does like them, but she doesn't really like them. Let's, uh... 
Let's, um, let's talk as well. Hey, I have an idea. Take this and go pull a prank with it. It'll be hilarious. Oh, thank you, Delta. <laughs> thank you for the marigold. Oh my goodness, that's actually really timely because we're needing some healing too. But I think we'll try and sleep first and see if that'll help. Think you can use a raspberry? I happen to have an extra and thought of you when I saw it. Oh wow, you must have had this for a while. Go ahead and take it because it's uh, definitely not the season for raspberries. Let's bring a squirrel to Pebble because we know Pebble will like it. You look like you're staying busy today, Larkin. Hey, that looks like something I can find a use for. I really appreciate it. And let's chat as well. When I was little, I didn't live at the Mountain Domain, just like you. My family traveled from the north after their home was destroyed by humans. The Mountain Domain were the first cats that took us in and cared for us. Honestly, wow, that's, that's a pretty sad story. But I feel like Larkin can really relate to that because, after all, she's had uh, her own sorrows and ha has lost her first home as well. Let's bring Arthur another rabbit, though. There we go. And we'll visit with Luna as well. And we'll talk. Found any sapphire? They're like the color of my eyes, but darker, or something like that. I have a bunch in my den. Pebble told me they have healing properties. I don't know about that, but uh, they are, they are pr quite beautiful, at least. Um, it is only six, so maybe we'll go see if we can uh, visit Leo. Is Leo still out here? I think Leo will be coming back. Oh, here comes Leo. Oh, we didn't need to sprint then. Let's bring a rabbit to Leo as well, because we have an extra, and, and chat with him. Oops. Our domain faces many challenges lately, Larkin. My mother was the leader of the Mountain Domain before me, and if I ever have a child, they would like me to become leader after me. So it's like a... It's like a... I guess it's like a, a sort of a... It's sort of passed down. Um, oh, this is for me? I'd be happy to accept your gift. Which is kind of interesting, really, because... Uh, we have noted quite a few similarities between Leo and Larkin. I wonder if there could be something there. Honestly, I mean, you never know. You, you never know. It could be kind of interesting. We'll have to see. <laughs> um, hmm. That actually brings up some interesting thoughts, because they, they do look quite similar. And, I mean, Larkin was raised by humans, but who knows where she came from. <laughs> I don't know, what do you guys think about that? Any any theories or any thoughts on what might happen? I don't actually honestly have a plan with that, uh, by the way. Sometimes I have plans when I hint at things, sometimes I'm just literally seeing what you guys are, are considering. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think about that? Because that was kind of an interesting remark for him to make to Larkin of all cats. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and wrap up the episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.